three reasons that I quit wrestling back in high school. Number one, I wanted to focus more on golf. I started wrestling before I started playing golf, but once I got to high school is when I started playing golf tournaments, I saw how much fun they were, and more importantly, I saw how good I can get. And now, I can go play golf any single day of my life. I can't go wrestle any single day of my life. So I wanted to focus and get a college scholarship, and that's exactly what I did. Number two, I hated folk style. Basically, as soon as I started wrestling freestyle and Krakow, every season after that, I hated folk style more and more because I just think folk style is the dumbest style. There's a reason that no one wrestles it overseas, and in freestyle and Greco, you are not only encouraged to score, it is in the rules and you are enforced to take action or you are penalized and your opponent gets points if they're being just more action oriented. Versus in folk style, it is controlled stalling. No matter what you look at it as, people hand fight and stall and do all of that on their feet. In freestyle and Greco, it is take action. And when you're down on the mat, if you don't take action and you're not gonna score, boom, you're right back up on your feet right back to force to take action and push the offense. Folk style is dumb. Number three, I was actually dealing with a lot of back pain um, due to growing pains and the cutting weight was not helping that. So I was going to the chiropractor three days a week uh, during the season, just I was growing and it was causing a lot of uh, pain in my back, but more importantly, it was the cutting weight to go alongside with that was actually causing more pain um, because of how fast I grew and the size that I put on, I was trying to wrestle a weight that I probably shouldn't have been wrestling. And so it was causing a little bit more stress on my body. And at the end of the day, going back to reason one, I wanted to focus on golf. So if I said, hey, I'd rather focus on golf and get really healthy and just allow my body to grow and do all of it that it can do, um, I ended up now, I mean, I'm six foot two and I'm really glad that I did decide to you know make the call and not weight cut anymore because I think that it could have really severely stunted my growth. Um, I don't know if I would have made it over six foot because at the time, I mean my freshman year of high school, I was like five foot seven and a half. So to grow you know basically another six almost seven inches um, from the time I was you know a sophomore in high school is, is, is a lot and a lot of that was done in about an 18 month period and I'm just you know, for anyone who might be going through some growing things and they're cutting some weight, you know what, I made the call to not cut that weight and you know what, I ended up growing to, to be over six foot two and, and I think I'm pretty happy that I made the decision to stop cutting weight. Um, you know, I could look back on it and say, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, I could look back and say, hey, I should have done this or I should have done that. But this was a thought process that I went through of when I made the decision to quit wrestling. This was Hey, I was dealing with the weight cutting. I was dealing with, I wanted to play golf more. And I was, you know, dealing with what do I really want to do when I was in college? What do I want to do after college? So all of these thoughts were rolling through my mind. And at the end of the day, the main reason goes back to my number one. I wanted to focus on golf. I wanted to give my main attention. And that's what they say with anything. You can't have 70 different things that you're trying to do at one time. If you're trying to multitask, you're not doing anything efficiently. So focus on one task and do that and just get it knocked out and get it done. So that's what I wanted to do with golf. And you know what, I said I wanted to get a scholarship and that's what I did. Was I really as good at golf as I was at wrestling at that point in time? No, I was a better wrestler than I was a golfer, but I knew that one day I could be a really, really good golfer. And I'm kind of starting to get to that point. You know, I had to go through a lot of issues with um, some mental struggles that I had and just not really understanding where I was at. But I'm at a point now that I understand why I was in that struggle. I understand how I got better as a wrestler and what stages I went through and, and where I made those different incremental changes. And I'm now just trying to do the same thing with golf. I took a little break. I took uh, time to really break down and see what I was doing. And now I laid out a path of what I want to do and how I want to get better. I have my practice schedule. I have my training schedule. I have my work schedule. I have the days that I'm going to go out and play. I have the days that I'm going to be making the content. I have the days that I'm going to be posting and going alongside with that. And tournaments are coming up here soon. So I had to get on top of it. I had to get ready to go. And now I'm at a point that it's showtime. So I wanted to let this video be a way to not close the wrestling chapter, but I definitely wanted to kind of let people know that, you know, uh, wrestling was not my main thing. Um, you know, I did it and I was very good at it, but essentially I, I stopped because 
I wanted to get better at something else. And I was a good wrestler. I'm not going to say that I was the best or, you know, I was amazing or anything, but I was, I was a fairly good wrestler. You guys can go look at my track results or whatever you guys want. I mean, they're online, they're on the internet. I quit. I didn't wrestle for four years and then I wrestled the NCWA. And so I just basically pulled up and, and wrestled 17 matches um, against guys who wrestled maybe all through high school or, you know, never took a break. I didn't wrestle for four years. I jumped in and did it for shits and giggles. Like it was, it was something for fun. It was something to kind of, you know, blow off some steam and give me something to do. But now I'm letting this chapter close. I still, you know, coach and, and will continue to kind of do that um, here and there, but it's not going to be my, my main thing. Um, even here on the channel, it's, it's not going to be the main thing. The main focus for me right now is I'm shifting the goal. I'm seeing how good I can get. And the good part about it being on YouTube, and I'm going to be playing a bunch on YouTube, is you guys will get a chance to see how good I can be, um, how good I can get, and, and hopefully you know you guys are along for the journey. I'm kind of putting it out there as a statement for myself. Um, I need to hold myself accountable. I need to hold myself to that higher standard that you know I, I keep internally. But now I'm going to start to do it externally, and I'm going to allow you guys to see um, some of the thought processes and some of the things that I go through. So that's exactly what this video was with, hey, why did I quit wrestling? This was my thought process. This was the entire thing that I went through. It wasn't just, oh, I don't really want to do this anymore. No, it was a long, detailed process of, okay, well, like, I want to focus on golf, and I, I want to you know, see what I can do going forward, and then... There is an element of like health in there, but at the end of the day, it's it's focus. So I'm letting you guys know where I'm shifting my focus again. Um, I don't want to catch anyone out of the blue and you guys are like, hey, what, what the heck's going on or anything like that. But I think it's kind of time that uh, I set the record straight. So hopefully you guys are along for the journey and we'll catch you in the next one.